I'm out here at Bowness Lagoon in Calgary, Alberta, training for three Guinness World Records for self-caught flight on ice. I currently hold these three records, which I set two years ago. Um, basically, self-caught flight on ice, just like the name says, I throw a frisbee, I skate, and then I catch it. So two years ago, like I said, I set three Guinness World Records. A buddy of mine actually from Minnesota named Tim Mackey used to hold those records, and he gave me the blessing to go after them the year before that. You know, I think it's an honor thing when you talk to somebody who has a record to ask them how they did it, what the conditions were like, and just let them know that you respect them and you want to see if you can do better. It doesn't always work out that way. Fortunately, I, I had really good conditions and I was able to do that. So one of the cool things as well is I did it at the Silver State Festival in Edmonton. So I will be attempting them again this year at the 25th anniversary of the Silver State Festival in Edmonton, Alberta on Valentine's Day at Horlock Park in Edmonton. Horlock Park is beautiful. In the summertime, it's a big body of water basically where people can go kayaking and tubing. Winter time, they freeze it, turn it into this amazing ice surface. So um, it's gonna be set up really well for me. I have 15 attempts for each of the records, and so I have 30 attempts. And I'll get into a bit more about what the records are actually all about. So soft caught flight on ice, there's three components. There's maximum time aloft, there's throw run catch, or on ice, we have throw skate catch. And then you have soft caught flight, which involves a combined score of MTA and TRC, so the maximum time aloft and the throw run catch. Maximum time aloft, I'm basically trying to hold the frisbee in the air as long as possible by throwing it high, throwing it with a bit of angle. So I throw it, I skate, and then I catch it, and we measure the total time from when the frisbee leaves my hand to when I catch it, or touch it for the first time. Like I said, I currently hold that Guinness World Record, and that is 12 seconds. Um, and then the next one is TRC, throw and catch. Throw the frisbee, you skate and you catch it, and you measure from where you threw it to where you caught it. And that Guinness World Record is 72 or 73.2 meters. So 73.2 meters, if you convert that to yards and then convert that to feet, that's about 240 feet. Standard hockey rink is about 200 feet long, Olympic size, so you can't do that in a hockey rink. You have to do that outside somewhere in a big body of ice. That's why I'm here at Bonas Lagoon, which is huge and has enough room to do that. And then the third one is um, self-caught flight, which is MTA, your score of MTA times 5.5, plus your score for TRC, which gives you the combined score. And so for me, that's 125.57. My goal this year is to go over 13 seconds for MTA, over 100 meters for TRC, and over 150 for combined score for self-caught flight. Again, I'm going to be doing it Valentine's Day in Edmonton during the Silver Skate Festival. You can find out more at frisbeeonice.com. Would love to see you out there. It's a lot of fun. It's something that not a lot of people have heard about, let alone seen. So, you know, come out, bring your family. It's going to be a great time. And I'll have some frisbees to give away, and it'll just be a lot of fun for everyone.